Today I'm going to show y'all how to put a DVD onto an iDevice, such as an iPhone or an iPad. And uh, and this this will be done on the PC. Uh, last video I did it on the Mac, but people want to see it on the PC. So what we're going to do is go to Internet Explorer or whatever internet browser you use. And then you're going to search for hand break here's handbrake and then you're going to download it right here so you'll click the link and it'll ask you what kind of uh, version uh, uh, what kind of uh, PC you know if you have a Mac or PC and you download the PC version of handbrake and then you're going to go into uh, DVD shrink and here it is um, do not click on DVD shrink the main website just do um, DVD shrink after dawn and then you will download it right here and these files do not take up as much memory and then you install them and here they are that's what they look like so uh, first we're going to go into DVD shrink and uh, today I'm going to show y'all uh, I'm going to do uh, use Black Hawk Down as a demonstration so I already have Dem Black Hawk Down in the disk tray and here it is so I'm going to open the disk and while it's opening uh, well, when it opens, uh, I've already analyzed it, but when you click on open, it, uh, a box will appear and it will analyze for about three minutes. And then after that, this will come up. And what you're going to do is go to reauthor, title one, and drag the title over here. You don't need any of this other stuff because it's just previews and special features. All you need is the title and then you click backup and I want it to my desktop and I want to create uh, video TS and audio TS subfolders and then click OK and I've already done this so I'm just going to redo it again I said yes and it's going to encode and encoding takes about 45 minutes, 30 minutes. It depends on how long the movie is. This is probably going to take about 50, 25 minutes, but I will speed up the video. Uh, fast forward to, to further instruction. Uh, but um, before I show y'all how to do the handbrake, I am going to show y'all how to do. Uh, I'm going to show y'all something. Uh, it's called a anti DVD. And this is just like, sort of, well, sort of like DVD shrink. But uh, some uh, some DVDs are going to be very copy protected. So when you try to encode them off of DVD shrink, they're not going to work. So you need any. So you can use any DVD if it does not work. Download any DVD. Now any DVD costs money but you can download it for free, a free trial, and it's a 30-day trial. So if you have a DVD that you know can't copy on DVD Shrink for some reason, you're going to need any DVD. And what any DVD does is just uh, uh, uncopy, takes the copy protection off, and then you're able to use DVD Shrink to copy it. So that's any DVD. And right now it's going to encode for about 50 minutes. Alright, now we have finished encoding the DVD on DVD Shrink. And it, uh, after encoding, a box showed up and it said you're, uh, it's been finished encoding. And so I clicked OK. And now we're at this point. Uh, I had to uh, move my file 
uh, it did not show up on the desktop but showed up on desktop down here and here's the audio TS but the video TS was in the here and I moved it I just moved it to my computer because I have a parallels desktop uh, for the Mac and it I'm able to run uh, Mac and PC at the same time without switching out discs like in boot camp and so now what we're gonna do is open up Handbrake and we're gonna go to source uh, DVD video TS folder and I'm gonna go to my computer in your case you probably go to the desktop and, and retrieve it and it's gonna scan it don't have to worry about that and now we're gonna select our destination and in your case your destination would probably be desktop or your videos but for me I'm gonna do uh, put it on my network drive with Mac, the um, on my Mac right here. So uh, disregard what I'm doing right now. But you can put yours on your desktop or videos wherever you want your uh, your video. And so you can name it whatever you want. It depends on what DVD you have. I mean, Star Wars. You can write Star. Oops, I did L. That's okay. Fix that. Oops. Fix that real quick. All right. So now we're gonna go to presets and update our presets, just in case. And here are our presets. What presets does is they're uh, they're already uh, set for you know specific settings for uh, you know the ra the aspect ratio and stuff. You make it fit on your iPod and stuff. So there's iPhone, iPod Touch. You can do that if you have an iPhone, iPod Touch. But uh, this will do is you can do this preset and start encoding it. And what it will do is the file size will be much smaller. But I much rather do Universal. Universal it works on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, the iPod, Apple TV, the iPad. Works on everything if you just do Universal. This is what they use on iTunes. So we're going to select any movies. Uh, they will have they will have a um, they will have subtitles. And so what you'll have to do is go to English and select forced only. So, in case you have a movie that uh, someone else is speaking a different language, you're able to add the subtitles. Because sometimes, you're, uh, like District 9, it won't include the uh, subtitles unless you select English and Forced Only. So, just do that. Do that on video, any movie, just in case. So, I'm doing that for Black Hawk Down because, of course, it's in um, the Middle East. I mean in Africa, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. But, um, so I selected that in Universal. And so now, what you're going to do is start. And this box pops up and it's encoding right now. So, it will take a while to encode. It could take like an hour. It depends on how long the movie is. See, it's I've already got. It says six hours, but it, it should be shorter. It'll, it'll fl it's fluctuating right now, and my computer is pretty slow right now since I'm running on two different two uh, parallels desktop. So I'm using three gigabytes of RAM. So that's. But it'll go faster with your in your case. And after that. Um, if you selected your destination as desktop, it will show up on the desktop. And um, after it's finished, you can um, put it on your movies and then um, import it to iTunes. And then you're able to go on the iTunes, connect your iPad, iPhone, whatever iDevice you have, and uh, put the movie on your iDevice.
and there you go it should work so that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching and I uh, hope this has helped you